Rumours have long swirled that James Hewitt is Harry's real father. Ever since Prince Harry was born with a shock of ginger hair, a news broke of his mother's torrid affair with a dashing red-headed army officer, there have been nasty allegations that he's not King Charles' son. And after picking through his troubled relationship with Charles in his upcoming memoir, Spare, sources say Harry has suggested through gritted teeth that it might not be such a bad thing after all. Of course he's joking in his own dark way, but parts of him have naturally wondered over the years, says an insider. According to New Idea, Harry is being encouraged to get a DNA test to set his mind at ease once and for all. It was Meghan's idea, says a source of Harry's wife. She did her own genealogy a couple of years ago and wanted Harry to join in. Indeed, late last month, Meghan confirmed on a podcast that testing revealed she's 43% Nigerian and she's going to start digging deeper into this. Meghan thought it would be interesting information to have for her kids, but without Harry's results, they'd only be able to give them half of the picture, says a source. Whether he went through with it is anyone's guess, but it must be a sensitive subject for him. Harry has long tetchily rejected speculation that his biological father is James Hewitt. The former cavalry officer, now 64, had a five-year affair with Princess Diana while teaching her sons to ride horses. It is understood that the illicit relationship began two years after Harry's 1984 birth, but that hasn't stopped Palace Scuttlebutt, even though most courtiers agree that Harry is looking more like 73-year-old Charles as the two men age. A publishing insider says, Harry has been pushed by his ghostwriter J.R. Moringer to dig deep into the relationship with his father, so it's likely he will have addressed the Hewitt rumours in spare. What is certain is that Harry will reveal in this book that he feels Charles hasn't been much of a father, even though they almost certainly share the same DNA. Meghan wants her husband to find out the truth. Parts of him have wondered over the years. After Queen Elizabeth's passing, paternity theories swirled about Princess Di's lover. A source told Radar Online, as Harry was growing up, his likeness to Hewitt became more and more apparent. From the reddish-brown hair to the blue eyes, body language and similarities in build are uncanny. In the past, Hewitt had claimed he met the princess at a dinner party in 1985, a year after Harry was born. However, there are reports that he and Di met years before when he played polo with Charles. Hewitt was seen inside Charles and Diana's Kensington Palace home on several occasions in 1983, 12 months before Harry was born, said author Nicholas Davies, who has written numerous books on the royals. When the duo first grew close, he was a staff captain in the Life Guards and agreed to give her riding lessons. Only one thing went wrong, we fell in love, Hewitt later wrote. In a 1989 letter that she penned, Diana also gushed over the connection they felt. I've lain awake at night loving you desperately and thanking God for bringing you into my life. I just long for the days when we finally will be together for always, as that is how it should be, she wrote. Hewitt was soon after dubbed a love rat for dishing about his five-year affair with Diana amid news he planned to sell her love letters before ultimately having a change of heart. By 1995, Diana opened up about their romance during an interview, confessing to being unfaithful as her own marriage crumbled. Yes, I adored him. Yes, I loved him, she said. She didn't broach the subject of Harry's paternity, however. Only Charles, a few close friends, and the Royal Protection Police were aware that Diana was Hewitt's lover before Harry's birth, said Davies. And the reality is, she wasn't sure who was Harry's father, added the author. In her heart, she wanted it to be Hewitt, and she suspected that it was more likely to be him than her husband.